Hello everybody, I'm Miss Persevere Blessing. This is a reading for my Sagittarius today is June the 12th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. And with that being said, we're going to get right into your reading. Okay, first and foremost, some of you could be dealing with Scorpios. I do see that there's a lot of changes that's taking place with you guys. There could be some endings as well as new beginnings. Some of you definitely are receiving some type of downloads. I feel so your third eye is definitely open. I feel so you're seeing a lot of things for what they truly are. Definitely a lot of things went in your mind here with the Ten of Swords. Some things you're going to have to stand in your strength in regard to. I feel like some of you are, um, are feeling some type of way in regard to something. Needing to stand in your strength. You could be dealing with a Leo individual in regard to some things. Hmm. Lots of communication surrounding you and someone. To be dealing with another fire sign, a Leo Sagittarius individual, as well as you manifesting a lot of great things to definitely come into your life. I feel as though you do work well with the elements. Um, lots of spirit guides and angels surrounding you. Also... You're very passionate about whatever it is that you're working on, and it's definitely going to work out in your favor. You do have the Witch Fulfillment card, along with the High Priestess. The High Priestess lets me know that you're very intuitive, very psychic, and also saying that you need to follow your intuition a little bit more. There's some things that you need to pay a little bit more attention to. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra individual. Some of you could be going to court. Some of you could just have some type of... Um, Somebody surrounding you who works in the judicial system. But I feel as though things are going to definitely balance out for you guys. I feel as though you've been working extremely hard here with the Eight of Pentacles. Very much so. Some of you could be burning candles and things like that. Working with herbs. Mm -hmm. Some of you are definitely very much so healers. I feel as though somebody, maybe it's you or somebody you're dealing with, they can't sleep. You see this pillow here? You see this person, they're feeling some type of despair. They're worried about something, and it's causing them to not be able to sleep. It's all this communication that's going on. Blackbirds could be like, you know, people who could be gossiping and things like that or saying like nasty things. Could be some nasty rumors. That can be associated with you or something like that. Even if it's not true. You know, people are scandalous. They will make up some shit on somebody. You know what I'm saying? I want you to know that you do have angels that are surrounding you. And going to be working and working this thing out for you. You know what I'm saying? Give it to the universe, whatever it is. And let them work it out. And once you give it over to, to the spiritual realm, let it be. Don't go back and pick it up. They don't want to get you some rest. Don't work with them raccoon ass eyes. Because I tell you, if I see you with them black ass eyes, I'm going to laugh. I can't help it. It is what it is. Waking all up them swole ass black ass eyes. Looking like a raccoon to the face. No hell to the no. Stop all that stressing and worrying. Stand your ground. Some of you could be dealing with Aries individual here. Somebody's definitely taking control in regard to some things. Mm -hmm. Somebody's playing chess instead of checkers. Go ahead on. Y'all got a lot of fire in this reading, um, Sagittarius. Look at the King of Wands. You see what I'm saying? See, you have the Strength card. That's a fire sign. The Knight of Wands, that's fire out there every fucking day. The Queen of Wands is here. That means there's some type of partnership here. And then we come down here, and then you have the Emperor. That's the Aries. And then you have the King of Wands. That's another fire sign. Y'all got it on and popping. Some of you could be dealing with the earth sign individual, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn individual. Or this could be you taking on that energy where you work, you know, you making your damn bag. Some of you are definitely could be dealing with um, an Aquarius individual. There could be some healing that's going to be taking place. I do feel like you're going to get some type of recognition here. This is also a balancing out card as well as a wish fulfillment card. So some of you could be asking the universe to help you in regard to some things, and that's a wonderful thing. And once you do, you just let it go, and they're going to work it out for you, okay? The star card is Aquarius, if I didn't say that already, but I know I did. <laughs> some of you could be dealing with the Gemini individual. You could be definitely in love with somebody, so in love with somebody. Hello. I love this card. It's very beautiful, and it's that mm -hmm, the number six could be of some kind of substance to you, or... 
either the number three, you know, when you break it down, and you know the, the six will break down to a two, which is a partnership out there every day. This is emotional feminine habits. You could be seeking in regard to, you're not already in a loving relationship, but you're into somebody. You just want the, this feeling of emotional feminine happiness. You want to be happy. You want to be in love. I feel as though you have a lot of options that have come your way. This could be illusions, too. It could also be something that you're wanting to um, make come to fruition. But, um... Please be wise when choosing in regard to if you have a lot of choices, you know what I'm saying? Use that intuition to help you with it because everything, just because it looks good, don't mean it's good for you. See, they got some snakes in here crawling from under here. They got a bat right here. I ain't no fucking telling what else up under here. Um, all right now. I do see doors with an opportunity opening up for you in regard to love. This is the Ace of Cups. In the Cups is the heart. So you're definitely... In your mind, in regard to a lover's relationship, you want a new beginning with somebody. That's what I'm seeing. You definitely wear your options in regard to it. You know, what's going to be best for you. Some of you are going to be walking away here, giving somebody your ass to kiss in regard to um, heartache and pain. You don't want to deal with this bullshit anymore. Somebody you're just going to have to walk away from. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times we have to walk away from something because you already know cycled out of something and everybody can't go with you to your next level. You got to let it go. But if definitely if somebody's causing you heartache and pain and disappointment and breaking your heart and shit or you breaking somebody else's heart, they're going to walk away from your ass. It is what it is. You got to let it go. Somebody could be very being very judgmental here. Mm. Definitely you could be going through a tower moment. I think of this as a life lesson. It's up to you to pass the test in regard to some things. But it's saying shit. There's a partnership here that you want to hold hands with somebody. You want to be with somebody. Um, you want to make something work out with somebody. And it could be lovely. You just got to give the person a chance. And there's some celebrations that's coming in as well. Some of you have been in your mind in regard to this. The hermit card. You're going to isolate yourself to think about this. For so long, how long are you going to sit there and think about it instead of doing some action in regard to it? Stop about that damn thinking. You done thought up a stone. It's time for you to, time for you to act now. What you going to do? You're missing somebody. You need to call them and let them know. It is what it don't sit there and keep on thinking. That's thinking ain't going to get you what you want. I'm telling you. Thinking about it, wishing and hoping and praying on a star and all that bullshit. That ain't going to help you. You got to open up your mouth. See, you don't weigh your options. You're trying to make a head of hard decision in regard to somebody. Somebody's on your mind. <laughs> you on somebody else's mind. Somebody on somebody got their mind. <laughs> I know why. Mm -hmm, you're very creative. Somebody's feeling very passionate about somebody. Your third eye is definitely open. You've definitely gone over things with yourself, but now you're feeling kind of confused. You don't know whether you can move forward or backwards in regard to the situation. Because you done waited so long. All that damn thinking. Stop all that fucking thinking. Do some action. It's time to act now. <laughs> I see victory is definitely yours. So if you are waiting or wanting to go to, towards somebody, it's a good time to do so. All right, you guys. Let's see what's underneath the bottom of the deck for you guys. Uh -huh. Somebody's obsessing over somebody. They're obsessing and they're keeping it a secret. Now, what's all this damn obsession and keeping it a secret? Stop playing games. I call that playing games. You ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. See? You're going to bind yourself up in your mind in regard to that situation. Hello, somebody. Give me something else. It's time for some changes. See, you got the world card. Time for you to open up. Do what you need to do. Speak your mind. The queen of swords. She is the one who speaks her mind. She don't give a damn... Words hurt or not, I mean, they're going to come out regardless. Mm -hmm. Somebody sitting here thinking about a missed opportunity. Or so they think. I feel like to think that if you, if you missed out on it, then that wasn't for you. And the universe is saying that wasn't for you. We got plenty of other stuff that's coming your way. Mm -hmm. Or somebody could be trying to give you a gift too. Maybe you could look forward to that. <clears throat> Hell going on with my throat. That's because somebody ain't speaking. Got my fucking throat. Ain't nothing wrong with my mouth because I know. Tell a motherfucker how I feel. Anytime. Day or night. Uh-huh. You want stability. Stability with somebody. You want to make it work. You want that firm foundation and all that good shit. It's time for you to reach out and do so. But hello, somebody. You got to be careful because somebody's looking in the background here. 
Somebody who's been running their fucking mouth, talking a lot of bullshit in regard to you. This don't have nothing to do with the lover's relationship. This is somebody who want to steal something from you. This is somebody who's your enemy. Got to be careful for this one. And keep a foot ready to go up this ass. Because, see, they're going to come doing some shit. Probably in the night. You know what I'm saying? With the moon car. Thinking that you're not intuitive. But you're going to know what you find out. <laughs> yeah, you know what to do. Put a foot in the ass, like I said. Fuck it. Tell me, don't play games with you. You wasn't born. You might have was born in the daytime, but you wasn't born today. God damn it, your name ain't Sam Slice Head. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're going to get a lot of blessings here with the Nine of Pentacles. Lots of blessings coming in. And here you are. Things are going to balance out for you, okay, you guys? With your last and final card, maybe two. There's a new beginning that's coming in on the horizon because you're not afraid to take chances. Go ahead on and do what you need to do so you can get to where you need to be. It's going to lead you to pure happiness and success. All right, you guys, I'm supposed to be a blessing. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you here. If you like this video, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. If you like your own personal reading with me, you can call me at 347-227-5723. That being said, Sagittarius. Y'all have a good day, okay? All right, now. Talk to you later.